guys I got some very good news so I asked well first of all I just want to say ask and you shall receive that's in the Bible so I found out that I will be able to get a temporary morning client because one of the pregnant girls had her baby at my job so she's gonna be out on maternity leave for a little bit so um i asked like the lady who schedules if it was possible for me to have them temporarily and she said okay so that gives me some peace of mind because now at least i know i have a morning and afternoon um client here and you know I was considering applying to some other places but like I said I really don't want to switch jobs right now I'm not prepared especially with me be needing to save up to move it's just not a good time to try to start another a new job and I honestly want it want to stay at my company that I'm currently at at least like at the very least until the end of the year so i have a full six months there um and also i like my my current job at the moment i was getting a little little stressed there because i was like if i'm not gonna get enough hours to pay my bills i i really didn't want to have to get another job though so it's things are looking up so I feel a little bit better about like actually being able to save since I'll be getting a full caseload now and have some like have a consistent morning client. So that makes makes me feel a lot better. So now I can focus on just saving and not focus on like stressing about getting another job again because I y'all I'm just tired. Also for the people, well, I shouldn't even comment on this, but basically on my other channel where I talked about like the full situation, like people were commenting, just get another job. Why are you complaining? Just get another job. Like it's easy to just, I mean, some places maybe, yeah, but I was uh, constantly applying for other jobs, but the job offers I get, well, basically, with my current how much I make an hour like I make a decent amount an hour at the moment so I would be taking a pay cut in a lot of ways to work somewhere else um, and my issue was really just my hours not being stable but that in of itself is not something that that I was um, I wasn't really stressing about that and also I understand too and I feel I understand too what people are like just get another job the thing is I'm tired of like work like getting job after job after job and I applied for so many full-time positions y'all y'all and didn't get them so it's just like I I th I don't know I just feel like people think it's just easy to get another good decent job it's like I could get a job at McDonald's but I'm not gonna be making more I'm gonna be making way less an hour and working full-time and still not making a decent amount so it's not just our it's it wasn't just about having a full-time job it's having a decent pay paying job and full-time hours <coughs> because I do make more an hour, even if I only work 35 hours a week, um, 35 hours a week than I was making at my last full-time job. And also, I don't know, with my last job as well, the hours I had to work, I honestly kind of felt stuck and I don't know why. And I also kept being gaslit into thinking I was gonna get more hours because I kept putting, I really just, I stayed at my a job, uh, uh, 
I stayed in that job longer than I really should have because I wasn't getting hours. The other thing too is I had to, I was waiting to get certified. So I trained, started there in January, but even though I had done my training already, I didn't, they had to pay. I could have paid out of pocket, but I hadn't gotten paid for my first, my first two months working there, I didn't get paid basically. So I wanted, I was like, I'm not paying out of my pocket when I haven't even been getting paid to work there. And I feel like that was a red flag. There was a lot of red flags in my old job. But basically I didn't leave because at the time I was like, I put all my eggs in that job working out and was thinking, okay, well they told me they're hiring me part time. And at the time I had been working at TJ Maxx making $12 an hour and they were only giving me like 10 to 15 hours. So I was like, okay, well $15 an hour and I'll be making closer to $20 an hour is still better than working at TJ Maxx, which is my old job. And that job I got after being a server where I was making no money. So I was just going from like, honestly bad situation to bad situation to bad situation. And I got the job as a, a registered behavior technician because one of my friends who was a server had told me about it and like you can make a decent amount of money working that career field it's really just finding a place that has stable and consistent hours so which I kind of have now but I don't know y'all it's not I make more I make still make more an hour than I would at most other jobs um, however, I've applied to be customer service and get have a 40 hour job there. I get denied from all of these other jobs. I'm not sure why, don't know what I do wrong. I put like my experience as a customer service representative, all of my customer service experience. I've never qualified. I don't know what I do wrong when I apply for them, but I get rejected from jobs. Like you can apply for, I can apply for all of the jobs you guys recommend to me it doesn't mean i'm gonna get it i've also worked in a warehouse before there's not a warehouse near me that i could i could apply to and when i have applied to other warehouse jobs i don't get selected for them i've applied at a, to get a kia warehouse job i've applied at like i've applied at so many jobs you guys so just because there are jobs available doesn't mean i'm guaranteed to get them which is why it's frustrating when people are like just do this just do that because <clears throat> I try to do all of those things. They don't work out for me. And that's okay. I'm like, I'm not gonna worry about a job I don't have. I have to work with the opportunities that are available, actually available to me. So at the time I didn't have other jobs. I hadn't heard back from any of the other jobs, which is why I ended up taking the last job that I had. And I figured, you know, getting closer to $20 an hour and working 15 hours was better than, you know, making $12 an hour and only working 10 to 15 hours because they cut my hours drastically from like 36, 36 hours to about 10 to 15 hours at the beginning of this year. Um, cause I was working at TJ Maxx seasonally and then, and it was good for a little bit, but then it, it I got my hours cut and that I couldn't afford to work somewhere and not make a good, good amount of money. So I actually was still making more than I would have made at my other job. And then the other only other option, I guess, was to be like get multiple jobs. And the problem was my job that I had before, I was working like between 2.30 to 6. And um, a lot of part-time jobs, you have to be able to come in at 5. And also I had to travel to um, some of my sessions with my client and like I wouldn't even get home till like 6.30, 6, 6.45 sometimes. So it really wasn't pos possible for me to get like even like a retail customer service job because a lot of them want you in. Even if I tried to be a server, they want you to be able to come in at 4.00 and that wasn't i didn't really have that option because of how my schedule was like i was working mostly afternoons if i had a job that i was working in the mornings more it would have been easier for me to find another job just to work at night but 
I kind of was screwed over in a lot of ways and like the I had tried to make both jobs work like stay at TJ Maxx and work my other job but my availability TJ Maxx only wanted me to work um, they wanted me to come in at 5 a.m. every day and coming in at 5 a.m. in the morning y'all was really bad for my sleep schedule I couldn't get any rest and I would have to like nap as soon as I got off work between like 10 to 12 p.m. and so I just felt like it was too much it was not I wouldn't be able to work 5 a.m. so I had asked if I could work 8, 8 a.m. to 12 or until 1 and when I changed my availability basically my manager never put me on the schedule which is why I'm not working at TJ Maxx wasn't working at TJ Maxx anymore um so I don't know sometimes things just don't work out the way you think it's going to when I accepted the job obviously um, and at what I interviewed they had basically told me yeah you can only be part-time and they made it seem like I could only be part-time because I wasn't registered I didn't get registered until April because they pushed off my registration for whatever reason I kept begging and begging for them to schedule my test so I could um, become certified and it took them literally almost February April it took them like two months after I finished my comp assessment to schedule my um, certification and then once I was certified and I asked them again like do you have full-time hours I basically kept getting gaslit but I stayed because I was like well I I just don't want to try I don't want to have to try to find another job again like honestly it's tiring applying for job after job after job and there's also not a lot of guarantees. I don't know why this person is parked in front of my house, but I want them to move their freaking car because that's like, why are you parked in front of my house and you're not a visitor at this house? That makes me really uncomfortable. Like there's a random truck parked here. Like, very much in front of my house so anyways that was the whole reason why that was the, whole, the main reason why I stayed there for so long because I was hoping I was going to get full time hours and they kept gaslighting me oh we'll have hours for you starting in May and then it turned into oh you'll have hours for you starting in June and then it turned into oh we'll have hours for you in July so they kept lying to me gaslighting me so I could stay and they told me like you're a good employee you're very dependable like we know you work really hard and they just basically gaslit me into like staying when I really should have left I should have left as soon as I got my certification if I'm being honest because once you have your certification it's a lot easier to get another job but like I said, in my mind, like I wanted, I was, I thought the job was going to work out and I was trying to be patient and trying to wait for things to get better. And they just never did. So I did stay in a bad situation a lot longer than I should have. Like I was making $600 and it was because of my hours, y'all. It was literally because I was supposed to be guaranteed 15 hours, right? Which I was making $18 at the time what's that math <clears throat> i think if i had actually been make um given that it's like a little bit under um it's really still not a lot of money it was it was less than a thousand a month 15 times 18 is what i can't do that math right now 15 times 8 30 times 4 120 it's like 220 did I do that right? Yeah, about $220 a week. And that's so little money. Honestly, I don't know. That was that was like I said, a mistake I won't make again, but at this at the same time I was trying to be, you know, not be someone who jumps ship every time things get bad and trying to prove to myself I could stay at a job for at least 6 months cuz prior to that I was leaving jobs pretty much like every 3 
freaking months and I was like well none of these jobs I can put on my resume if I'm not staying at a job long enough so I was like I need to stay here at least six months so it's something I can actually put on my resume and I do think that was like still a better decision than just you know quitting quitting um sorry y'all um then quitting as soon as i got my certification although in this field it's pretty easy to um get another job okay i have to go because i have to take stuff inside all right sorry y'all i feel like i'm honestly probably over explaining myself which i need to stop doing like if someone doesn't understand my situation it's they don't understand but basically obviously the first thing um the first thing someone's going to do is try to look for a better job but at the end of the day not every like applying for a job doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get it I get a lot of I get rejected from a lot of jobs for whatever reason like I don't know I feel like I interview pretty well personally but it still doesn't guarantee you're gonna get the job there's been a lot of jobs I thought I've interviewed for thought I did well thought I was gonna get it didn't get the job so <sighs> it's like I can't control everything <clears throat> and I can only I can only take the job offers that are actually available to me, which is why I took the jobs that I took. I didn't have other offers from other places. Um, and I did, like like I said, I've always been trying to get a full-time job, but um, there's a lot of places that I've applied to, I never hear back from don't get an interview or just get rejected like that's just freaking life uh, but regardless if I'm sharing something I'm just sharing what my experience is I can only I can only speak for myself I can't speak for other people um, I have worked in a warehouse before and I hated it um, also I think I explained this already in a video I, at this point, I'm tired of getting a job, like getting a job and just focusing on money because it doesn't, it doesn't really help me to just be focused on making more money. Um, I would rather find a job that I can actually make a career out of and that's stable. And I don't know if I found that yet, but I like my current job. I do enjoy what I do and it's something that I could see myself doing you know for a couple of years but at the end of the day I feel like you have to do what works best for you what works best for you might not work best for other people and yeah and I'm not against like working jobs I work like I said I'm not against working any specific type of job I've worked in a work warehouse. I've done customer service. I've been a server. I've worked retail. I've done data entry. I've done, well, food services is the same thing as like food industry. Like I've literally worked. My first job out of college was working in Zaxby's, y'all. And I used to work 60 hours, made no money. Cause I made like $9 an hour at the time. And my rent was only 500 but how much did I even make? What's $9 times 60? $560 a week minus taxes. I was maybe making between 450 a week. My paychecks, I don't feel like my paychecks were ever over 700 though. Like I feel like even with overtime, I made like, the most I made was like $700 every two weeks when I was working at Zaxby's so yeah I don't know I don't know people don't know my full background when they see my they see one video and think they know everything about me it's like no I've done just about every type of job people have recommended the only job maybe and I'm kind of in the medical field at the moment just not as like a nurse 
nurse or CNA. Also, I know like I could go back to school and I've considered it. I just don't know if it's worth it for me personally um, because I went to school for cosmetology and spent wasted pretty much thousands of dollars just to not even be doing hair. And I know a lot of people do try to become nurses or go to nursing school just for the money. And that per personally for me, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that I would want to do personally. Not hating anyone who's, that's what they, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you should do what, what works for you. Being a CNA, you do make, this person's not paying attention because they definitely have that turn light and aren't turning. The car, if I was behind that car, I would have honked my horn, but maybe they weren't paying attention. Anyways, at the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for you. I am going to live my life based off of what I feel is best for me, and I can't live my life based on what other people think I should do or want me to do. Um, but yeah, I worked in a warehouse. I was miserable working there. I've worked, um, like I said, I've worked just about every type of job a person could think of. I have a lot of customer service experience. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I honestly got stuck in customer service and I got tired of dealing with people. Like I got burnt out with it. I don't like doing phone service anymore. And I almost tried to do that again and just was like, I don't think I could do that. And it's just like, I, I don't want to do things out of desperation either. Like, <sighs> at the end of the day, I'm going to trust God and leave it at that. I feel like I'm where I need to be for right now. Knowing I have um, some stability again, I feel like I can, I will be just fine. Like I said, I kind of stressed myself out a little bit for no reason, but also just, <sighs> I was thinking the worst and started worrying and started getting, letting myself get, you know, worked up over something that is ending up probably not even going to be a big deal or it's going to end up fine regardless. So everything is going to work out for me the way it's meant to be. Every situation or mistake that I made, I've learned from grown from it's just like I have to figure out what's best for me and at the end of the day it's my life and my problems are for me to figure out and deal with and nobody else but I do appreciate the advice people give and I know people are just trying to encourage but sometimes it's not even just how it's not what you say it's just how you say it like again until you're in someone else's shoes you don't know what it's like to be that person. You don't know what struggles that person goes through. And there's just so much more things that I feel like people don't see or don't know about me anyway. So, um, I don't know. People can think, I guess, what they want to think. And what I need to do is just not care really at the end of the day not care what random people on the internet think about me because one it shouldn't matter and two why should I care what um I shouldn't care and specifically I mean like when people are being hateful or just rude I already talked about it I don't like rude people it's like my biggest pet peeve but I've honestly learned to just delete comments that are rude and move on with my day keep it pushing but yeah I guess that's more me this video is more just me explain I don't know I need to stop over explaining myself too because it's like I can explain to people get over slow poke idiot drivers ugh, cars just ugh, annoy me sometimes because why do you not know how to merge and why would you try to merge at like 30 miles an hour oh, the person in front of me does not know how is making me upset and I know this uh, cops man anyways I think that's it guys Ugh. I like I said 
I gotta do what's best for me the same way y'all gotta do what's best for you. I will figure it out eventually. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna stress myself out about things that I can't control. I know what I've been doing. I know the things that I've tried to do. You guys do not know everything that I've tried or done. And that's really just what it comes down to at the end of the day.